Hey everybody, welcome to Atlanta, Georgia. This is the Air Method Center for Simulation. Let's take a look inside, I got a lot to show you. Our first stop on our tour is our infant high fidelity simulation room. Let's take a look at a crew assessing our infant patient. Before we jump to today, she'll suck shit out and then try it on the lace up first. Our next stop on our tour is our pediatric high fidelity simulation room. Let's take a look at a crew assessing a patient having respiratory distress. I can't breathe. You're okay, bud. We're taking good care of you. You just work on taking those slow deep breaths. You're doing great. Just down the hall is our adult high fidelity simulation room. Right inside here, our crews are assessing the patient for injuries sustained from a traumatic event. We need to make sure the blood pressure goes down. Yeah. In this room, we have our high risk OB simulator. Let's take a look at a crew assessing a mother in active labor. I'm starting to feel the urge to push. Breathe for us. Doing great. Baby is coming. Good job, Jenny. Just a short distance from each one of our simulation rooms are dedicated debriefing spaces. These rooms are an essential part of our simulation program. They allow us to provide our crews with structured, facilitated discussions following each scenario. Now that we've seen our simulation rooms and our debriefing rooms, we're on our way to take a look at our breakout rooms. Do you hear that? That's the sound of ventilator training at its finest. This is our mechanical ventilation lab. Here, crews are able to work with state-of-the-art mechanical ventilators to ensure that they have the skills they need to do both invasive and non-invasive mechanical ventilation for different patient populations as well as disease processes. This breakout room is dedicated to airway management. Here, crews can practice different types of intubation techniques, including direct and video laryngoscopy. We can also practice airway decontamination. This facility also houses one of our human patient cadaver labs for invasive skills. Today, we're gonna be using a simulator to stand in for that human patient cadaver. These labs allow our clinicians to practice things such as chest tubes, intubations, surgical cricothyrotomies, and any other invasive procedures necessary for them to excel. Thanks for coming on the tour with me. To learn more, visit airmethods.com ascend.